I just kind of sit there and think, you got to do it yourself. You can't look to somebody else to do it. Tucked behind the houses across the street from Strawberry Street Market and Cafe in the heart of Richmond's fan district is Scuffletown Park, one of several hidden pocket parks in the city of Richmond. With its manicured grounds and eclectic decorations, Scuffletown owes most of its charm to the man whose voice we just heard, John Patterson. I joined John in Scuffletown in order to learn more about him and his park, which so many Richmonders have come to love. Here is his story. When I came to Richmond in 1963, <laughs> if you can believe that, and Scuffletown Park was not a really a park back then. It was a, a barn here that sat right over here. They uh, kept the uh, city horses, tore that down, and then about, I guess, six, seven years ago, I brought my dog down here to have a place to run. And I just started doing stuff down here and pretty much everything you see now, I put in over the last seven years. Like when I started down here, there was no plants, no vegetation, no pots, no tables, no benches. Uh, I put all of that in, all of the cannas, these, these red plants, I put all of those in. And then uh, I was coming out here every day watering because there was all the watering had to be done by hand and it would take me about an hour and a half all summer long to water. So I wrote and got a uh, grant from the Fan District Association and they gave me a grant, I think it was for about $6,000 to put in an automated uh, sprinkler system. Uh, we have a lot of people in through here probably more so than any other small park in the city. And I have to run this park over on uh, donations. And I usually do it by um, going door to door, explaining to them that I need money, need donations for the park. And it takes a lot of time and an awful lot of energy, especially when I'm 72, to walk up and down steps from door to door. And it gets a little tiring. It cost me uh, probably a couple thousand dollars just, just to keep this up and keep it running. Right now, my um, coffers are about empty. And I am going to have to, next spring, either quit taking care of this place and hopefully turn it over to somebody else, but I can't get anybody to get interested in it. I mean, who wants to do something for nothing? But, you know, it's kind of the way I grew up. But you learn, you have to learn, too, that you got to do it yourself. You can't look to somebody else to do it. And I enjoy doing a lot for other people.